She is soaking wet and probably seriously freezing. There's a little more than that going on. We have a problem. My concern is we are having an ice storm right now. So I just got a phone call from a woman we've been talking with her for a while about some, um, about four littles and a pony that she needed to bring here. And she just called um, a couple minutes ago and she's bringing them up today. My concern is we are having an ice storm right now, but she says this is the only day she can do it. So we're really hoping that it goes well. So it is currently raining. This morning it was freezing rain, um, but the temperature did go up and now that it has all melted, everything out here is slush and super, super slippery. Thank you, Mother Nature. So we had a woman reach out to us a couple weeks ago. Um, she said that she had a couple minis, a donkey, and I believe a 13 hand high uh, mare that she was looking to surrender. She did end up finding someone to take them. Um, and unfortunately that woman turned out to be um, something completely different than she said she was. And the horses were not in a good place. So she was able to get the horses back from this lady. And today she brought them up to our shelter and they have just arrived. Careful. Oh, hi. Careful. Where are you going? Hi, Simon. Yeah. Take your music killer. <laughs> you want to? Come on, baby. Okay. Come on. 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 <laughs> and B, you're too big to get that excited. Cheryl's gonna get them some water right away. So these two, they said are bonded. And then the donkey and the black and white one are bonded as well. So we're gonna keep them together for a little bit. Now it is snowing. About an hour ago it was raining. It is also getting warmer out. 
turns from rain to snow as it warms up. Makes sense. So we just got word that Cream Puff over in quarantine is down and apparently she has been for a little bit anyway and she seems to be struggling to get up so we're gonna go over there right now and see what's going on. <laughs> so Cream Puff here was just down on the ground for quite some time. For hey baby. Hey. Hey. She is soaking wet and probably seriously freezing. So we're gonna get her inside somewhere dry. You can see over there where she was laying down. So we got her inside, she's still shaking. Kylie's gonna grab her a cooler and a blanket and we're gonna dry her off as quick as we can. We got her some food. We're gonna get some shavings in here. I know, honey, I know. We're gonna get you warm, okay? So the girls have arrived with a cooler and a blanket for cream puff. We're gonna get that on her and get her warmed up. See the steam coming off of her right now. Later that evening, we went out to see if Cream Puff had dried off yet. She was dry, and we removed the cooler and put a blanket on her. It had been a pretty scary day. She was down on the ground and had been for a while. We actually had to use the skid's tear to get her up. Typically, when we need a skid's tear to get a horse off the ground, the ending is not good. Um, as it turned out, though, as soon as she was on her feet, she jumped up and jumped off the skid's tear and ran off happily, but cold. Thankfully, in this case, we had a happy ending, and Cream Puff has been her normal self ever since and she was very anxious to get back outside with her friend Strudel. All right. Are you snug as a bug in a rug? Mm -hmm. Ugh, they're nice and warm now, I can feel it. Yeah, all right. So it is Renee's last day. She's leaving nice us. Bittersweet. And Are they both the same? They're both the same. It smells really good. You want me to dig my icky fingers in there? And Cheryl got a couple pizzas. pizzas. Thank you very much. You're welcome. For everyone to celebrate. Like Stacy at the valley opened here. Special. Special. Yeah, yes. Normally closed on Tuesdays. I guess yes. Stacy is normally closed on Tuesdays, but opened up special. Yeah, it's but is it raining or storming outside? And it is sunshine out. It's warm. Pick the spot right in the middle. <laughs> Bye, Renee. Bye. We're gonna miss okay. you. I'll be back. See ya. See you later. <laughs> So we had someone who was kind enough to give us a little bit of a discount on our bags of grain and he also offered to deliver. Um, so you really can't get better than that. We're going to get this grain unloaded and start giving it to our horses. What is it doing outside? It's snizzling. <laughs> it hasn't started yet. Okay. But you gotta... Oh. Okay. So enter... Oh, display name. What? Practice. Don't judge. And then enter studio. Yep. So we're trying to figure out right now how to go live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Okay, and then enter. And not have all the issues we have with the live on Facebook. Enter. Oh look, our name is practice. Oh, that's what that means. Oh, but then you can make banners. Banners. This still isn't going live, you know. Click on a banner to show it on the screen. This is an example of a banner. <laughs> but you would like custom it, obviously. Today. What'd you do? I don't know. We're gone. Did it hit cam? No. I think I just put the banner over the whole thing. 
Marissa. What do you want me to do? I don't know what happened. Hit, hit the more again. That's why I hate doing this stuff on a phone. Now the whole thing is just glitched. As you guys can see, it's going swimmingly. <laughs> So it is March 1st, the first day of meteorological spring. And as you can see, we're getting some lovely spring weather. We were supposed to take strudel in for x-rays today and we have to reschedule that now, obviously, because of the driving conditions, which means they're gonna be put off at least another week. It's already been like three. Um, we're shooting for next Wednesday, but we're still waiting to find out from the bed if that's even gonna work, or we might be another two weeks out. We need our own x-ray machine. I have said, of course, to the horse. Of course, to the horse. <laughs> I said, of course, to the horse. Good boy. I'm able to back up far enough. Cindy's going to back up her vehicle here to hook up the trailer. There's a little bit of snow. So hopefully, she doesn't get stuck. So, Marissa is helping Cindy. We're gonna have to lift this. So right now, Cindy is just, um, we're struggling a little bit because of the way the snow is packed. Every time she backs up, it lifts our hitch, which then we have to lift the trailer. And it looks like she's right on the money there. towards my head. <laughs> we have a problem? What's our, oh. Oh no. It is. Our chain is frozen into the ground. Well, both of them are. So the chain, chains are frozen into the ice. They're not even <laughs> just. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. They're not even just stuck in the snow. They're frozen in the ice. And we got some surrenders to pick up. Cindy came with reinforcements. It is founder issues um, and dealing with some laminitis and it's just not something she's able to take care of anymore so um, thankfully she contacted our shelter um, instead of sending them out in the world and who knows what would have happened so we're gonna go pick them up so we finally got the chains unstuck and now the trailer is officially hooked up next we're just gonna grab some halters and lead ropes for these two little ponies, and then we're gonna head out. Granny is her mother. Oh, okay. all right. So she's nine, she's six. Hi. Oh, you are cute. Nice. All right.
check it out. about you, Minnie? Go ahead, Annie. Good girl. One big jump. <laughs> Identifying everybody that's been in the trailer. Good girl. Wow, that was like awesome. <laughs> It is glare ice back here and we're not gonna unload them on that. So we're gonna pull it up onto this patch of gravel here. Stop. Good. All right, first one coming out is Rainy. Hi, honey. We're here. Lots of smells, huh? Yeah, you smell friends? Girl. Yeah. <laughs> and next out is little Miss Minnie. You got it, honey girl. One last jump. There you go. There you go. <laughs> It's a barn just like where you were in. Just a little different. Yeah, this one has concrete. And other horses. Good job, sweetie. You're okay, honey. Are these breakables? You can bring her in too. Oh, this one is too. And then Minnie is the baby. <laughs> yes, Do you hear the other minis? There's other minis. So our most recent auction group is finally out of quarantine and we're hoping to go to an auction tomorrow. So we're gonna bring a few of them up to the barn and get them into our daily routines. Come on, Long Jen. You can come back in here, buds. We're gonna bring Bismarck, Baklava, and Fritter over. You got it, buddy. Long John is being a jerk to Cream Puff, so we're gonna move Cream Puff and Strudel over to the middle pasture for now so nobody gets hurt. Leave her be. Just tightening his halter, new breakaway halter. You and Baklava are still together. Cindy's grabbing cannoli. Love our stalls, right? <laughs> she even lowered her hook for you. I did. This is too big. That's all right. It won't be out long. Kylie just put Long John out in the pasture and we're gonna see how he interacts.
Cannoli is still on stall rest due to her suspensory ligaments being strained a little bit and not wanting her to be out on the ice in case she were to slip and restrain them. So she is on stall rest still in the big barn. You want to go home? Do we go mm -hmm. home? Oops. Go home, baby. There you go, honey.
This one's very, very soft yet. Because right where all that bruising is wraps right around that lamina, and that kind of worries me. I don't feel all that. Yeah, you know what I'm doing. Everything sure looks sloppy, doesn't it? <laughs> 